Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Team Liquid Legacy Star League round of 24. I am Sale, and with me, as always, is Elgin. What's up, dude? Hey, how you doing, Sale? Everything all right? I am pretty good, man. I was so excited last night that we were going to do the first groups today. I couldn't even yeah. sleep. You know what happened? I <laughs> dreamed about TLS. I had this crazy dream where um, somehow my mom was like the head of organization of TLS. <laughs> and just to troll me, she decided to replace Fighting Spirit with Python as the wow. in, as the final map. And I was just like, no, mom, no, it's a terrible map. Do not do that. And she just had like the troll <laughs> face on and she just like let it go. Really? She had the full oh, troll face? I was so mad. I just like wow. had a tantrum in my dream. I was like smashing dishes and stuff. I was like, no, Python. Yeah, Python is absolutely <sighs> falling. I'm sorry you had to go through that, Sale. I'm yeah. sorry that um, Team Liquid Star League is... Uh, uh, invading your subconscious so badly but nonetheless dream about brood war better than any other one of your worst dreams mm -hmm. definitely definitely yeah. um it just goes to show how excited i was for this and now we're yeah that's commitment here. guys <laughs> he's having nightmares about this <laughs> oh man anyway so uh for those of you who are unaware this is a uh, group stage so the 24 players have been divided into six groups of four um, these are MST style groups, that is MSL Survivor Tournament, I believe. Yeah. Um, so Whatever the that. way that works is two people advance from each group of four. So um, two players play each other in set one, the other guys play in set two. The winners of those first two sets play in a winner's match, and then the losers play in a loser's match. And so the winner of the winner's match advances 2-0 out of the group. The loser of the loser's match drops out of the group 0-2 mm -hmm. and then the two guys left over play in a final match to decide who advances 2-1. Yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. If it sounds confusing, don't worry. Once we actually start doing the games, it'll be very, very obvious what's going on. Should be. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll make it obvious for you guys. We'll just keep reminding you until it finally sinks in. You'll be fine. You'll get it. Anyway, you, you hardly even need to know. These games are going to be so good, you'll, you'll just be lost in, in kind of crazy awesomeness. It's bound to happen. Indeed it is, indeed it is. And our first group today, Group A, is going to be very, very exciting. Actually, you know what, I just want to do a brief note for both groups. Um, I, we've got both of our super old school players today, G5 and um, Liquid Drone, both playing. So I just thought that was really cool. It's like, um, see if our, if our old schoolers can actually yeah. make it to the round 16. That'll be quite exciting. No, I'm so excited for this because there was kind of... Um... I, I somehow thought that G5 wasn't going to be playing, and I was uh, very, very afraid of that because oh, I'm so excited to see these old school guys play. I don't even know why, because I was barely even around back then. But just something in me. <laughs> yeah, I. I think that's probably partly why they're so important to us as well, because we're, just when we were starting, we were looking up at them like these gods of StarCraft. Um, and yeah. I know, I'm just rooting for him like crazy, so I'm, I'm so, so, so excited. Uh, project, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, project <laughs> was the, um, Winner of our sixth qualifier. I have some new hotkeys now on my setup, so um, oh, things are getting no. crazy. Yeah. Oh, I know what happened. I know what happened. When I typed Technics's name, I muted myself. Ah. Oh, what even? It was Technics. It was. Oh, Technics. so you weren't muted this whole time? I was afraid you were muted this whole time. No, 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 no. Oh my god, because that would be ridiculous if I was. That, just... that would be pretty funny. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah. So the group, as you can see, Project Enjoy Me, Technics Drone, Project, the winner of the sixth qualifier. Um. So he basically didn't get to choose a group. He this was just the leftover group that none of the other one has picked. So he just got dumped into it, into it, which is fine. Yeah. Um, Technics was the runner-up of I believe the first qualifier, and then Enjoy Me and Drone both got in on points, um, and that's how all the groups go. So there'll be every group will have one winner, one uh, runner-up, and then two points finishers. Yes, indeed. Cool. So first matchup: Project versus Enjoy Me. What do you think about that, Elgin? 
I think it's incredibly exciting. I mean, just needless to say, I'm dead thrilled to see Project playing in the next round of the tournament. I was, I couldn't even have dreamed that we we're going to see him here at all. So you know, this is this is such a bonus to have him going through. Um, I think I think he's going to have the strength to take Enjoy Me. I, I don't like to hate on Enjoy Me because I, I'm not quite sure where he stands as a player. But I, I just think Project's going to have the quality here to, to take him down. I, I, w I would put a fair amount of liquid bet money on that. Yeah, I think Enjoy Me. Um, he. He's definitely not the top tier of player. I think he kind of got in. I don't want to. I don't want to like sound like I'm BMing him, but he kind of got in just by um, like sheer persistence and slightly lucky brackets. Um, I think he's like a prime example of why everyone should try and play in an open qualifier because even if you don't think you're good enough, even if you're kind of like on the border, um, sometimes you just get yeah. a few lucky brackets because it's best of one for a lot of it, right? Um, it is. And, and it is. You, even if you don't place that <laughs> highly, you still get points for for lower. I think starting from the round of 32. So if you just get to round of 32 and you play every single qualifier, you can actually do decently well. Yeah. So um, so I think Enjoy Me is a great example of that. And and he's uh, he's been around quite a while. I mean, he played in ISL 2 and ISL 3. He kind of barely qualified for those as well and kind of dropped out first round. Um, and a little fun fact about Enjoy Me, by the way, he has so many Smurfs on Icy Cup that he actually created an entire team for his Smurfs. He's like, he has 22 Smurf accounts in that team. It's the funniest thing you've ever seen. If you just go on icycup.com and type enjoy me, there's like a team enjoy me that's all just him. I'm actually doing that right now. This is amazing. Dude, and the best thing was, um, like the for IC Cup Clan League, the admins didn't realize that they were all Smurf accounts. So they like invited his team to play in Clan League. And he was like, what am I supposed to do? It's like a one man team. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's genius! Oh my god, I didn't know he was Vanateer. Oh, yep, is... he is Vanateer. Wow, wow! It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, and look at that—it's actually not bad. B minus fifty-four and twenty. He's doing yeah, something right. Exactly. He's basically one of those guys that's like borderline between you know breaking, not quite breaking into the top tier of foreign players. Yeah. So um, yeah, managing to eke his way into the round twenty-four. Good stuff. Yeah, really not bad at all. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how this is gonna go. All right, and our first map is going to be. Uh, Neo Ground Zero, I think a pretty balanced map for v PVT. So yeah. without further ado, shall we go into the game? We shall, let's do it. Here we go. Here we are in game number one of the round of 24, ladies and gentlemen, a moment we've all been eagerly awaiting. At the top left as the green Protoss, we have Vanateer, aka Enjoy Me, and at the top right as the red Terran, we have Roll Horse, aka Project. <laughs> yeah, this has been a long time coming, it only just dawned on me kind of how long it seems like we've been away, it's, yeah. I'm, it's crazy, Elgin, it's crazy. Yeah, I almost thought this day years since come. the qualifiers. I know, I know, since the first qualifier, I mean... Yeah, I feel like a, an older, more mature guy since then, you know? I've grown as a person, you've grown as a person. You sound more British. Well, we both had our birthdays, didn't we? We did! So we, we, did actu we actually have literally aged since the beginning of the qualifiers. We, yeah. are, we are a whole year older, in fact. Observably aged. Yeah. I mean, yeah, wow. Holy hell. It's crazy. Okay, well, we have to bring a whole new level of, of casting to the people. We have to be, Ooh, you know, that much point. one more year well-educated. Because mm. we just got more old school. Oh, that's true. It's yeah, true. we're veterans now. Officially, uh, joining the likes of G5. Actually, that's ridiculous. We're not joining the likes of G5. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> G5, if you're listening. Anyway, um, Project seems to be going for a wall in here, which is interesting. Uh, don't usually see wallons and P or sorry, TVP uh, anymore. Um, those players just going for uh, a few more Marines in the beginning of uh, the game, so they don't actually need to do that, and they can just build their buildings around the command center. Saves them a bit of minerals, um, but it doesn't hurt to have a wall in here, especially yeah. um, if oh. He's actually. Oh no, never mind. Uh, I was gonna say, especially if uh, you know he suspects that the Protoss might be doing some kind of zealot cheese. Yeah. Um, which which isn't completely unlikely. I mean, just taking a look at the map, it is. It's not possible to actually cheese in the middle. So, I, 
I, no, I guess the zealotry is actually pretty unlikely unless there's some weird part of the middle that's buildable, but I really, really doubt it. No, I think um, it's all unbuildable around here. So but yeah, really proxy. I think maybe it's just kind of project, dare I say it, project age showing a little bit. Do I dare say that? <laughs> I don't know if I do. I'm not sucking him off. I love project, but um, maybe he's just, maybe he's not entirely comfortable with not walling in just maybe because, you know, that's how he does it and that's oh, how he wants to keep doing it. Oh, that's why he did that. He went for a command center. So he did! I just assumed that was a barracks, oh my goodness. Dude, see, wow. I was wondering this, because I saw him queue like three SCBs in the command center off to the depot, that's why I hesitated, right? And I'm like, well, he could be going for a late barracks. I mean, are you, it's a best of one, right? So are you really going to 14cc in a best of one against a Protoss who, you know, no offense to him, is, is not a, as good a player as you, so is definitely more likely to cheese? Yeah. I think this is a pretty bold move by Project here, but... Uh, well, let's see how it pays off. It's, it's completely standard opening so far from the Protoss. It's going straight for the Sarmaze Core, uh, Goon Range, and that first Dragoon. So he's not really going to be able to do anything to uh, attack this. He hasn't even scouted, actually. Very, very late wow. scout from really? the Protoss. He's not scouting at all. He's, he's not bothering. I mean, where, where's that first Dragoon even going to go? What, what's he planning to do with that? Yeah, I, I assume he's just going to scout second with gateway. That. This is This is quite crazy stuff for enjoying me. The thing that interests me about Project's play right here is that... This is this is going to be a little bit of a kind of early test for him because either he's been preparing this build and has is going to get it right, or he's he's kind of doing it on the spot and he's going to screw it up horribly. So this is going to be a really interesting kind of measurement of how much he's been getting ready for this. Because a build like this, if you haven't prepared it against a player who's decent, like Enjoy Me is, I mean, it can really fall flat on his ass pretty fast oh, if you don't. What are you doing? I actually really like the fact that Enjoy Me didn't scout now, now that I see what he's doing. He's basically going for a Power Goon build, so he's rushing uh, for 2-gate Goon as fast as he can to get as many Goons as he can without cutting probes. So it's not really an all-in or a cheese, but he's going to be doing some really heavy Dragoon aggression. And the reason you don't need to scout very early with that is, you're basically defended against almost any kind of early aggression that Terran can do because you're being so aggressive yourself. So the yeah. only thing you really need to know is where he spawns so you can send your Dragoons there. You don't actually need to know what build he is. Uh, he's doing because regardless of what the build is you're just going to be attacking his from the dragoons anyway and you can usually get enough information from how he defends to know what he's doing from that so you don't actually yeah. need to have a probe in his base i mean in terms of getting information it couldn't really be much more clear cut than this there is a bunker um although although having said that we have seen was it even project who did the crazy build where he put the bunker out the front and then didn't expand <laughs> yeah he two-factored yeah. behind it that was genius so enjoy me probably would do well to poke in a little bit with those dragoons <laughs> just to make sure he actually knows what the hell's going on if he was in fact watching project's games from before which um i, I hope for his sake he has because um yeah he's looking a bit bit self-assured here but of course there is an expansion up so he's gonna he's calling this exactly right uh, and it's throwing down a nexus of his own now he should be able to continue dragoon production behind that or it looks like he's got a little bit sloppy with his piloting um and it's throwing down a robo as well so he's not going to go too crazy on the dragoon production i would question the choice of robo if he's going to go reaver because i think the reaver will arrive a little bit too late um but yeah we'll see what he's going to do it might be just ops yeah i i guess it's just off now he seemed to have backed up um pretty quickly there uh, yeah. I would have maybe preferred him going for a 6 Dragoons instead of 4. I think the problem is, um, when he saw this bunker, he wasn't sure if it was a 1 Rax Expand or a 14cc. And if it was a 1 Rax Expand, I think going for the 5th and 6th Goon would be slightly more questionable. Yeah. But um, I think he missed a good opportunity there because, um, I mean, he, you know, there's only... Uh, with 4 Marines there, you know, it's slightly scary, but if you have 6 Dragoons, you can just walk in, kill all the SCVs, and then kill the bunker, and, and the first Basically. tank's not out for a long, long time there. We can see it just came out. So, um... So I think it's a slight missed opportunity, but of course, you know, going for this standard, uh, or not standard, but going for this uh, eco build instead uh, is absolutely fine. He's actually double expanding here off just the two gates and the robo. Um, oh. And this is actually, it's quite funny because this is actually kind of the style that I often played in PVT a while ago. Um, yeah. Just this kind of early two gate goon aggression and then kind of keep the Terran pinned back, scare him a little bit, and then just double expand. I, th I think it's quite smart. Um, of course, it can be susceptible to kind of mid-game timing attacks quite badly yep. um but and here here we go in fact we do have project throwing down a few more factories let's see if he lays down one or two more even um and then it starts to get really dicey for enjoy me it's all about how good your timing is uh, in terms of how good you're macroing up on your gateways is um if you're really effective with it if you're really on the ball you can hold a tear and push but it is tricky in the best of times yeah, um, you hit it. You hit the nail on the head. That's that's exactly what this build is vulnerable to. Those those mid game like just even a normal four fact push. It doesn't have to be like a five or six fact all in. Just no. a standard four fact poke. 
uh, is actually quite hard to deal with with that. Um, but fortunately for Enjoy Me, Project's actually not going for that. He's only got three factories, and he's gone for his armory fairly quickly here. So I think he's going for that turtley um, kind of two one fast two one upgrade style uh, timing yeah. here. The problem with that build is it usually relies on you having an easy to defend third base with a third gas. Because uh, yep. obviously you want those double upgrades, and you need to you know get the starport and the science facility to get the, the plus two attack, uh, plus two attack, which uh, which all is very gas uh, heavy. Uh, and on this map, uh, the the close third here at the twelve o'clock base is a mineral only. So in order to get a gas base, you'd have to kind of poke out here uh, and get the three o'clock base, which is a oh, lot yeah, harder to defend. Oh yeah, he's having the other He's going for the twelve. We can see the CC being thrown down there at the top left hand corner yeah, of his base. Yeah, so he's going to have a lot of extra minerals here to make vultures, but not as much gas. So it's going to be quite light on uh, that. Interesting, getting I... two goliaths early as well. Hmm, I think this is going to work out quite nicely for Enjoy Me, to be honest, because um, just because of the way the timings of the game worked. I mean, Project's going to be quite behind on his third base timing. I know that's not too bad for Terran, but uh, he's going to have an interesting time getting there at all, really. So this is kind of a bit worrying for, if, to be in Project's position um, at this stage. And he should know where he is. I mean, he does have scans, so he should have thrown one down uh, on the third base, and he should know what's up, but I'm, I'm a bit concerned for how this game's looking for Project. Yeah. Uh, the opener is definitely not favoring him, but I mean, you know, if it gets to a longer game, uh, he is he's <clears> the player with 400 APM, so um, he is. so we'll see what happens there. I mean, every, you, you know, the game can instantly change in one bad engagement. And uh, let's take a look in the Protoss space, looks like leg speed coming along, an extra gateway here, a bit of a funky building placement, kind of just squashing everything <laughs> together here. Yeah. Not a huge fan of that, very easy to get buildings like goons and zilts and whatnot. Uh, stock, or not zealous, I guess, but getting good stock or unable to be produced. I think um, he's avoiding that quite well, just looking at the way he's doing it. I mean, he should have nice roots out of his base on all angles. I mean, I know it's a, it's a heavy risk, but it seems like he's actually got this. He builds one quite more well gateway. Sorted. He can't make a goon from the middle one. Oh, 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 uh, he doesn't do it. Okay, no, no that's a good it. point. Every single gateway right now can build uh, build your goons just fine. Uh, yeah. Looks like Project scans the mineral only here, doesn't see anything. I don't know if he scanned this 9 o'clock. Presumably he did, because that's obviously the other location where the uh, Protoss would go. By the way, he went for these early Goliaths. I assumed that was so he could scan the Observer and kill it, but he hasn't done it. I don't know if that's because he just doesn't realize it's there, because it's not I moving. He's kind of moving around underneath it now as if he were about to target it down, but he must know it's there because he should see the Shimmer as his units move around there. He... Well, the thing is, mm. it's not moving, right? So he might mistake it for some just weirdness in the map thing or something. I don't know. It's, it's really hard to see cloaked units where, even when they're moving. And if they're not moving, that shimmer is really, really hard to see. But okay. yeah, I, I feel like he must know that it's there, but... Um, What's he maybe, expecting? A Reaver? Maybe he's just... Oh, maybe he's just waiting for energy on the comp set. Okay, now he's got 50 energy. Is he going to scan it? Because I don't really see the point... Yeah, I guess he must... Yeah, you're right. He must have been expecting a shuttle to come yeah, in. Yeah, I can and only imagine so. Get the glides for that. It's very maybe, interesting. Hmm... Maybe he was thinking, maybe this is what he was thinking, maybe he was thinking that um, that Enjoy Me would go for a late third because uh, as you said in your map analysis it was ex kind of expected um, for the Terran to go for a big mid-game mid push so maybe he was expecting for Enjoy Me to go for a late third uh, and that, that would be either combined with maybe a, a Reaver drop or a DT drop maybe if he went for Fast Arbiter and a late mm. third. Definitely a possibility. But that's just conjecture. <clears throat> Well, I don't know. Maybe if he uh, gets out of the group and gets an interview, we can ask him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, either way, it looks like Project tried to do a bit of Ultra Harass here at the, at the uh, 9 o'clock base. Wasn't successful. Uh, nice little pylon wall there, blocking any such shenanigans from happening. Although these mines looks like they might do a good amount of damage. Looks like getting a couple of hits off. Uh, doesn't actually kill anything, but doing a little bit of damage there. Meanwhile, the uh, command center is now floating out over to the mineral only. So Project's going to have that additional resource, but that means he is going to have to poke out here and cover quite a bit of additional ground, as you can see. Uh, he will be able to kind of cover his position from the high ground here in his main, but uh, he does yeah. have to kind of spread out uh, along the way. So uh, so definitely gives Enjoy Me an opportunity to attack if he wants to. Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, Enjoy Me sees it, and he does have Observer Speed as well, so that means Observers can escape from Goliaths, which is cool, um, <laughs> because, of course, Enjoy Me a little bit light on the old gas front right now, so he's going to need all he can get. It looks like he's actually gone for High Templar um, before he goes for Arbiters, which I think is a smart decision when you're likely to be defending against Entera mid-game push, and I think a lot of time it's a trick which Protoss players miss. They're very, very unwilling to go for High Templar earlier. They think Arbiters then High Templar, never the other way around, but it really, really can make a difference. I mean, Storm just cuts through Vultures like crazy. I completely agree, I completely agree. You do have to be a little bit careful though, of course, uh, they do move quite slowly, Vultures can run around and pick them off, and sometimes if you're not careful, they kind of just get shot by the Siege yeah. before they can get in range, which is really annoying. 
Um, I quite, I, oh, well that though, it looks like oh. we're having engagement here. He's going in from two sides. The Zealots are going, closing with the Siege Axe. Oh, what enough oh, soldiers oh. in this force here. I guess he sacrificed too many in that harassment just now. And the High Templar are coming in. Do they have Storm? They do have Storm. Getting some Storms off. A lot of forces going down. I think Project might hold here. He's got both buildings actually blocking the Dragoons from the south side. Everything on the top is dead except the two High Templar. They have no energy though, so it looks like Project will barely hold, but he lost a big clump of Siege Tanks there. Yeah, he lost almost all his siege tanks. Um, he has three or five siege tanks remaining on the field, so not terrible. No, definitely nothing you can push with. Um, and I think Enjoyme still has a window to keep macroing and to keep pushing, especially since he's got a decent number of gateways up. Um, that was quite expensive for both players, though. I think it's actually come out fairly even. Uh, and Enjoyme might not really have too much of a window as long as Project gets moving up and gets defending, and he is bringing up extra siege tanks. He has a few vultures dotted around, but still not the strongest of positions. And Enjoyme is just choosing to defend his bottom left-hand corner expansion instead, which I think is definitely the right decision. That fourth base is going to make a big difference. Not getting that um, could be enough to lose in the game by itself. Yeah, it looks like a small group of vultures actually distracts the goons that were going to defend it, though, and it allows the other group of vultures to uh, <laughs> to go down to that base. Project is showing off a little bit of his multitask here. Um, but it looks like the dragoons going to go head back down there now. They're going to snipe the probe, though, which is going to be quite annoying. But the Nexus is already up, and that's definitely going to stay up. Well, it looks like the dragoons actually aren't going back down to defend. I'm not sure what he's waiting for here. Uh, yeah. Maybe he's just scared that um, Project is going to go for a big push at the same time and he doesn't want his goons to get out, uh, caught out of position. Because that's well, actually a, quite a common trick that Terran players yeah. will do is they just send, you know, six or eight vultures to go and, you know, do a do a light harassment on some base. And if the Pearls player is, you know, not paying attention, he'll just 1A, 2A, 3A, send his whole army over and then be completely out of position and let the Terran walk across the map. So uh, yeah. you really got to be careful with that. That would be quite that would be quite shabby of enjoying me. I don't think that's what he's gonna do right here, but yeah, it is a very real possibility. We see it all all the time happen from people, but it looks like enjoying me is gonna be a little bit smarter about it. However, he is kind of moving a lot of units oh, down to the bottom left corner. Probes, vultures, probes. Oh no. oh no, he's gonna get now, how are these probes so spread out too? That's a bit funny. I don't <laughs> Usually even know. Is he even drilling them? He's not drilling them, that's oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's sent them to the wrong place, so that's kind of worked to his advantage right there. But yes, the terrible vulture follow-up to the first wave of vultures, and the second wave comes in and boom, gets the entire probe transfer if you're unlucky. But it looks like most of those probes managed to get out, maybe half of them uh, at most got taken down. So not uh, a terrible loss right there for Enjoy Me, though, and obviously not ideal, and Project pulls back. Um, and now the ball's quite heavily in Project's court. I mean, he's mainly just going to have to build up for a big push, which... Um, it could actually work fairly well because Enjoy Me um, doesn't have any Arbiter Tech and it will rely heavily. Okay, he does have Arbiter Tech. He's got Arbiter about halfway done. It will rely heavily on Enjoy Me storming nonetheless. Ooh, he's getting plus one air weapons as well. Uh, presumably for an eventual transition to carriers, but um, I'm That's not sure when he's going to do that. He's like planning really far ahead, actually, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, I'm curious to see it's when good. he actually does that. Uh, Project, by the way, I actually quite like this style. So because he got a, a third mineral only rather than a gas base, instead of going for that big uh, three base push, he's just deciding to do a lot of Vulture Harass, because obviously the Vultures uh, are, are, are the mineral uh, unit that he's making. Uh, and, and just adding on another yep. command center. So he's going to go up to four bases here, actually. And just kind of play a very defensive style, uh, try and keep his Siege Tanks alive, and just sp spend the Vultures. Because if he can just keep trading down Vultures for, you know, probes and zealots uh, and whatnot, uh, eventually he'll just have so many Siege Tanks that he can just, mm. like, just go for a big push and just spam Vulture reinforcements and uh, and really just take down the Protoss. So that's yeah. quite good. Um, this bottom left three cannon thing, hmm. That's that's really bizarre and pointless. If, if there are any concerns of pressure to come down there, that wouldn't really help. But hold that thought, because it looks like Project is ready to move out for a nearly maxed army, for a maxed army. This doesn't look too huge. I mean, is it just my perspective, or it, it, am I just getting old? But this doesn't really look so huge to me. Uh, I think Enjoy Me should have the upper hand with this somehow. There are four High Templar in a shuttle as well. Um, there is no stasis, so he's going to be working without stasis. But here come the High Templar. He should be able to get some decent storms off as long as he doesn't land them in the wrong place. Storm! Oh, he needs a couple more. And looks like on the back tanks, doesn't quite finish them off. He's got no more zealots. He needs to pull back now, I think. Does not want to engage with pure dragoons. Although he has taken down most of the siege tanks, is it going to be enough? It looks like he's just going to commit here. It's going to be very, very close, though. A couple more zealots coming in to reinforce. And it looks like enjoy me is actually barely not oh, going to take it like because this. of the vulture reinforcements wow yeah I don't, I don't like the way that enjoy me stayed in so long there i think he lost a few unnecessary degrees right at the death he's done a good job of killing the push though yeah I, I this is actually why on this map i really don't like horizontal positions for pvt uh because if you notice the way project pushed 
Um, covering the bottom of his push, there are these two little cliff thingies. So basically, the push from this area where he's defending between his natural and his third over to basically outside of Enjoy Me's natural is a very, very easy push path. It's very difficult to flank that. So basically, Enjoy yeah. Me's entire army was kind of funneled into this little area right here, which is exactly what Project wanted. So I think if he got a better engagement there, got a better flank, he could have uh, probably could have crushed Project's army. But as it was, because of the, the map, partially, um, he wasn't able to do that. Yeah, I, th I think the map definitely played a major part in that because that, that dude that really, really helped Project out. And now Enjoy Mizuki in a spot of bother. I don't think he even has Stace yet. I know he went for um, Recall first. I don't know if that was the best idea. Um, and he's going to be forced way back into his natural. He's definitely going to lose his natural expansion. Might even be forced into his main, uh, which is bad, especially at this point of the game. Because the Terran can just reinforce so hugely that it can be really hard to break out pretty much ever. Um, and Njomi's going to be forced to throw down some more extra gateways down at the bottom left hand corner uh, and to just try and get some sort of foothold on the map right there. And Project is doing this all off two gas as well. Um, and sh maybe Njomi should have waited for more favorable engagement position, which he might have been able to hold out for. Yeah, I'm not really sure because. It's just because that that position was already getting quite close to his natural and he doesn't want to move back too far. I agree, maybe yeah. if he pulled back slightly, he could have got a, a little bit of a better arc, maybe kind of hope that Project will get out of position, but as it stands, he's in a huge, huge trouble right now. Looks like, oh, doing a huge defensive recall. A probe was even recalled there onto oh. the siege tanks, but everything getting annihilated. Not quite enough. Project, meanwhile, sieging up some more tanks to take down the 9 o'clock base simultaneously as well as get his own 3 o'clock base up. So um, things looking very, very dire for Enjoy Me. Down to 128 supply against the 163 supply of Project about to lose his natural expansion. I'm not sure if there's any way for him to defend the 9 o'clock either, although no, he will no. have some reinforcements coming from the bottom left. Well, barely. I mean, there's two Dragoons starting to wander around the map now, but they're going to be pretty ineffectual. Project really uh, looks like to have this quite well wrapped up. Enjoy Me might still be able to pull some Miracle out of the back. He is going to clear out the forces up at the top left-hand corner. He may then be able to save the 9 o'clock as well. It looks like he's going to lose a whole bunch of protons there. Only one Photon Cannon not going to be enough to deal with all those Vultures, and he's going to have a hard time getting a single probe out of their life. Yeah, so many more Vultures coming down as well to reinforce the project, so that base is basically forfeit. You can see he's not even bothering to run the pros because he knows they'll die anyway. So you might as yeah, well mine yeah. as many minerals as possible before they actually die. Uh, meanwhile, oh no, gonna suicide some Zelt into Spider Mines. That's the uh, last thing he needs right now. Well, you know, at least he's got one thing, Elegant. He's got plus one go on. air attack on his Arbiters. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're doing 11 damage a shot now, so they're doing about 11 damage every four seconds. So that is. Shocking, but you know, it's something, I suppose. Um, and the Arbiters right now making their way over to try and take care of the tanks. It's going to be a cold day in hell when Arbiters can actually defend a base from any kind of concerted siege tank pressure. But you know, all <laughs> credit to Grove Trump. They're killing. The yeah, tanks don't like, even care. They can't shoot up. Like they're like, whatever. Save the Nexus, though, because those Vultures are not going to do too much damage. Once these tanks are gone, it's going to be actually salvaged for Enjoy Me. Um, he is moving Dragoons out through the bottom left-hand corner with no Observer cover, and he is a lucky, lucky boy, uh, managing to avoid those mine hits right there just about. And those five gateways should be able to pump some more reinforcements as well to kind of keep him going. So whilst he's in trouble, he is not dead yet. He didn't even lose his natural nexus. How did that even happen? Yeah, it's quite funny. Um, still taking unnecessary mine hits, but yeah. and, and even this hidden base he took at the mineral only. Uh, some vultures ran down there. Oh, I guess they got some pros, but uh, he's kept that nexus as well. So he's still actually got more bases than Project, funnily enough. But uh, the, problem, the problem is the army. It's 179 yeah. supply right now against 133 supply. Uh, he does have a lot of energy on these arbors, though. They've been alive for a while, so maybe he can get some amazing stasis off. He can do something. It's very unlikely. Yeah. I think he should back off now. He doesn't actually want a direct engagement just yet. He just wants to buy time for those bases to get running again and rebuild. Uh, by the way, these three cannons that I pointed out earlier, I, I didn't like them initially because um, it's quite easy for, for Vultures just to run by. They're very, very fast. But uh, but actually, they did help him earlier on defend, so maybe they're not that bad. I, I would still... Uh, the thing is, some, sometimes you can pile on all this, but then you have to kill something to get the units out or these gateways anyway. Yeah. So I can kind of see why you would do the, the cannons, although it's still still questionable in my opinion. Yeah, it costs quite a lot, it's questionable. Whereas when all you're defending is the mineral uh, line. Suicide oh, what are we doing? Arbiter. Suicide Arbiter. Yep, Arbiter was off on one. I guess maybe it was going for a recall. <laughs> yeah. And probably. didn't know the army was there, but he shouldn't know the army was there because, because well, he saw it. Okay, and Arbiter managing to escape the EMP right there. A little de bit of decent action from Mr. Arbiter. It looks like a couple of High Templar are going to get caught. Will Enjoy Me be able to get a couple of storms off in time? No, it looks like... No. Oh! <laughs> doing the double storming action and throwing away another Arbiter. As you said before, he needs all these Arbiters. He needs amazing Stacys to hold out right here. Doing some decent storming um, and is able to take out one of the science vessels and is able to clear up a good number of Goliaths and Vultures, but Goliaths and Vultures are not what it needs to be worrying about right now. They do not win games. 
Siege tanks win games. The Goliaths and Vultures Man. just kind of back him up. He stasis two Goliaths and a Vulture from four Arbiters. He had at least five or six stasis in those Arbiters. Yeah. So that was really not what he needed. And now he's definitely going to lose this next. He's probably going to get one shot. Yeah. Unless they hit the cannon first. But he actually did it'll have eventually stasis. get killed. Um, he is denied. He's, it looks like he's counterattacking. He knows he can't actually engage the Terran. Um, it might actually work here. The 9 o'clock is basically undefended. But uh, I don't think Project actually cares too much about that base. No, it doesn't doesn't look like he does. I mean, enjoy me can kind of just have it. It's a bit of a consolation prize at this point because Project has the army right now to basically roll enjoy me flat out. Um, enjoy me having more than I thought he would have is um, 100, 139 supplies. We're not doing terribly, but while, when you compare him to that of Project 173, it starts to look a little bit grim. Uh, and he's about to lose a whole bunch of his dragoons to my. Okay, not losing too many of them. Okay, uh, there. Oh. Blue goo everywhere, and enjoy me's bleeding dragoons. He is bleeding supply left right and center and he's about to lose the bottom left hand corner base unless he does something incredibly mind-blowingly skillful to defend it um but with three dragoons DTs, I will... dts <laughs> dts they're pretty skillful but he's they not even skillful. making dts I, yeah i don't know why he's not making dts that's oh oh he is oh he's making one okay because that's normally the thing that happens when you have gateways at you know your extra expo and yeah. you need some emergency defense it's like well Better hit that K button a few times. Universally accepted. Yeah. Someone, someone let enjoy me know in future to you know make DTs at the last minute. And three siege tanks going up at the the bottom mineral only base as well. They're not going to take any crap from photon cannons. They're just going to blast their way straight in. Or most of the probes going down as well. Although bizarrely, a couple managed to drill out, but they're not going to last very long. Um, another officer coming in, getting immediately AMP'd, and another 200 down, uh, 200 enemy officer getting taken down too. Um, so yeah, Enjoy Me is looking in a sticky situation in this game, to say the least. Yeah, I don't understand what's what's with all these Arbiter suicides. I mean, did, did he actually just get plus one air attack so he could have a move Arbiters <sighs> or something? That's <laughs> that's not exactly what the Arbiters are for. It's not uh, functional, is it? Yeah, that, that's like um, making high Templars to tank damage for your army. It, it doesn't actually quite work that <laughs> way. Uh, I mean, so, they'll take one hit, but they're expensive. Yeah, and they're shit it's, it's a little bit... Uh, it's really weird because Arbiters also, they're, they're quite beefy units as well. It's not yeah. actually that easy to suicide them accidentally. It's not like, you know, a shuttle that just randomly takes two Goliath shots and dies. Um, Arbiters have a ton of HP, so uh, yeah, definitely don't want to just be chucking them away like that. They're also very look, expensive, obviously. Look how sneaky and Joy me is throwing out the bottom right hand corner as well. He thinks, he really feels he's still in this. I mean, <laughs> the project doesn't have, actually have an economy anymore. So, I mean, it's just about conceivable that he could get oh, back man. into this. That's Losing so his high tempo, though. He definitely needed those to be in a shuttle, but yeah, if Enjoy Me can kind of... Oh, I bet he's wishing he had those Arbiters right now. I bet he's wishing they were still alive. Man, that's... This game's, this game's closer than I thought. Yeah, Project just just finally re-establishing this 3 o'clock base. All this counter-attacking from Enjoy Me is really taking its toll. Problem is, Enjoy Me doesn't really have an economy either. He's got the bottom right with like no, four probes barely. mining. And he's One way behind supply natural. as well. Uh, but the thing is, once the army sizes get smaller, Protoss becomes more and more cost-efficient against the Terran. It's only when the Terran's max that they're super cost-efficient against Protoss. Um, but if Enjoyme can slowly whittle down the numbers here without getting too suicidal, as he has been for a lot of this game, uh, he could definitely have a shot here. It looks like one missed the MP, I think. No, I actually hit the Arbiter, never mind. Yeah, okay, so we, we have yet to see any decent safe action from Enjoyme. He's going to go in for the engagement. I think he should be delaying rather than engaging right now. He's going to lose both of his high temp and mines as well. It looks like he might actually take down the siege tanks though. <laughs> Enjoy me. No I'm way! still battling two in Bro, that hill. Um, he is however yeah, only on 73 supplies. Whereas his opponent, yeah, imbalance, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Whereas his opponent is on 106 and the force does get cleaned up. So now 60 supplies starts to look a little bit rough for Enjoy me. Um, and I think it's no more than kind of a last gasp more than any Dude, actual breathing going on. He just needs to make DTs and he'll win. He just needs to, to complete the imbalance. Come on, make DTs! Oh no, he's gonna lose all his probes now. Oh no. Actually, the, the, he's just aim moving these uh, dragoons with vultures. That's a bad the time. Are the probes down. are fighting! The probes are fighting the vultures! <laughs> Does he know his double uh... elimination? Oh! Anastasia. Okay, so those were good stasis. If only he did those with, you know, every other Arbiter he had, he probably would have won the game, actually. <laughs> he might actually have won the game. I'm not, I'm not even joking there. He could have won this game if he used <laughs> those 8 or 10 or so stasis that he didn't, he didn't get around to using. He might have got it, which I hope it dawns on him because he's, he's not out of this yet. He can come back in future games, and he was not too far away from taking Project down, partly through a combination of Project's carelessness, but also through, through his own decent play.
Yep, looks like the vultures are stuck for the time being until the stasis wears off, amusingly. Man, that would be amazing if Enjoy Me still had an army and did a counterattack on a 3 clock. He's counterattacking with one Dragoon and one high Oh man, he has two storms on that. Oh man, oh he's got three storms oh. on it! No, don't storm the tank! Oh, actually, wait, no, that's okay, he's still it's got fine. two storms. Okay, Sorry. okay! Oh, 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 storm! Storm it! Storm! Oh, yeah, <laughs> baby! That's what I'm talking about. It's such a good sound. It's such a good sound. I wish SCVs were probes and then they would have just dropped like flies, but he seems to have got most of them anyway. Um, and that high tempo is still just chilling behind the mineral line. I think it's probably going to clean that up. Meanwhile, it looks like the natural is finally going to get what was coming to it for quite some time now. A couple more stasis, or is that just one stasis? I'm not quite sure, being thrown down um, on a few siege tanks right there. It's probably not going to be enough though to save and join me. He has fought his best. He has done this valiantly, but he is out of cash and his main is about to be sieged down. He's, he's just about mining off his uh, bottom right hand corner ninja base right now, but. Yeah, um, this is not looking great, despite one epic kind of, I, w I was about to say storm drop, but it was more of a storm walk. <laughs> with, with the escort of a single Dragoon, he managed to just walk straight into the Terran's third. That's a suicide strike SCVs. team. Yeah, definitely suicide strike team. But unfortunately, it was not to be GG from Vanity here. Wow, cool. So yeah. Oh man, that that was way closer than I thought it would be. I thought Project would just roll over and join me. Like, man, I don't I don't know if that was just Vanatier being amazing or Project being slightly out of shape. Because of course he did only very recently come out of um, SC2 retirement. If that makes yeah. sense. Basically, he switched over to SC2 like a year ago or something, uh, and he was uh, playing as a training partner on Rock's Kiss, I believe. Um, I think he still is. Is he? Yeah, he might be. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, he might, yeah, he very well may still be. Um, so, uh, so he basically just like came back and started playing a couple of weeks before the uh, TSL qualifiers or TLS qualifiers. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and then he uh, he won a qualifier. Yeah, very very impressive stuff. So yeah, taking down taking down his opponent right there without I was going to say without too much trouble, but it did get a little bit edgy to, towards it the end. There. He was never, <laughs> yeah, he was never looking like he was in any real danger, but it got a little bit less comfortable than I think he would have liked. Um, so, by no means a bad game from Enjoy Me, and he can definitely come back to try and take a win in his next match. But Project is going to be hard to beat, and I think he's proven it once again. Um, just, I, I don't know. He didn't necessarily play amazingly that game, but he just at no point did he look like it was of any worry to him at all. Yep, I would agree with that. He was definitely in the lead the whole way. Absolutely. Um, Apart from the build orders, kind of, I suppose. But even that didn't seem yeah, to really matter. Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, not when you're Project, not when you've got his kind of skill. Okay, so uh, that means that Project will go on to play in the winner's match, and Join Me will go on to play in the loser's match. But our next match is going to be the other two players in the group, uh, Technics versus Liquid Drone. We'll be right back after this commercial break.